Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you for joining me. I am going to share with you some thoughts about a eyeshadow palette I've been using pretty consistently for the last couple of months and also give you a quick update on skincare. A number of you have asked that, what have I been doing and all of that because in one of my previous videos I talked about the fact that I haven't been doing much of anything. I stopped using Retin-A um, and all of that. So, you're curious, stay tuned. couple of things that I have been using that I have really, really liked a lot. And one of them is, I'm going to just talk about mascara because I mentioned that I could not find my favorite Essence mascara. And so I bought the Lash Princess by Essence. This is the False Lash Effect. This is the black and green tube. And I've been using this, I think, I don't know, it's been like three weeks, something like that. And I've been using this every day because I do not, there's not a day that goes by that I don't have mascara on. I just, I have to have my mascara. So I've been using this like every single day and I will tell you that you do have to apply, you know, like when you put your mascara on, I put my mascara on usually before I put my eyeshadow on and then I'll touch my mascara up afterwards. But I put my mascara on layer, 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 and then I wipe off the residue with oil uh, on a Q-tip or something like that. And um, so I put my mascara on while it's all wet. I don't let it dry and then go back and reapply. So I'm continuously doing it. This has worked out really well. Now granted my eyelashes are not the greatest right now because I have not been using my eyelash serum. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I haven't been using the last couple of months which some of you are well aware of. So I'm going to be um, going back to that. I went to for my my three month checkup for my Mohs surgery and skincare and my surgeon at Dartmouth Hitchcock is where I went and had everything done. Um, he said I could go back to my regular routine. So I'm going to start up with my regular skincare routine again. I haven't done that in a while, but I'm going to start all that up. But the first thing, because my lashes have been so crappy, and I don't, I probably, it probably would be a lot better for me if I did wear false eyelashes because I wouldn't have to worry so much about it. But my lashes have been crappy, mainly because I stopped really using a lot of the eyelash serums when I had my dry eye. And my dry eye went from one eye to both eyes. So I, um, you know, I have it under control, but having the dry eye and then having to do the drops, I think of things a little differently when it comes to my eyes. So like I don't put anything in my waterline anymore. I'm just really super, super cautious with that. So I'm going to start up with the eye drops again and see how I do. I have the Blink Eyelash Serum. I have been loving that for a long time. It makes my eyelashes really good. I really like it. So I'm going to start up with that again, and hopefully my eyelashes will pick back up. It shouldn't take very long to do that. But I will tell you, this this um, if you can't find the essence in the purple and you want to try this, go ahead and try it. This is just as nice as the one with the, in the purple. So I am no longer going to be stuck on just finding the one in the purple because I have been loving this. It holds up well, it doesn't it doesn't run, it doesn't smudge, it, it just really is nice. I really, really have been loving this. So highly recommend it. At, what is it, four bucks? It's amazing. So try it, you will like it. The other thing, and I know this isn't four bucks, but I think I got this at the outlet store. Um, Mac at the outlet store. Did I? I can't remember where I got it. I think it was. But this is a little cool palette. And I think I showed this when I bought this. And this is the only palette other than the uh, Cream Brulee little um, Wet n Wild Cream Brulee, which I'm all out of and I have to get, that I typically use that Cream Brulee color and I put it all over my lid before I start anything. This is the palette I've been using. It's a cool palette. I don't know if it's picking it up. It's it's a cool palette. It really it's it's got some really nice. It's got a nice dark brown. 
It's got some other shades of brown, has a little bit of mauve and purple. I've been using this lighter mauve color one a lot. And then this pink or one inside my eyes. So I've been using this palette an awful lot. I know I've not really talked about it other than once, but, and I keep getting people that say, what are you doing to your eyes? You know, sometimes I try to do a real dramatic look and I'll post a picture on Facebook. Um, but other times I just kind of go for more subtle look, but more often than not, my Viseart Amethyst palette is my favorite. I am like nurturing that palette, but this is my second favorite. I am really enjoying the cool tones in this palette from MAC. I love the colors. I love how it blends. It is, however, more pigmented than my Amethyst palette. So I have to be careful when I apply it, although over the course of time I've gotten a lot better with it. I can blend better than in the beginning when I first started doing a lot of eyeshadows and I had such a hard time with pigmented colors. So I've been revisiting a lot of other palettes that I have that I haven't used that much because they were so pigmented because I think my skills are better. So I'm gonna be playing around with more palettes. And I know some of you always say, oh, do a get ready with me. I'm gonna think about doing a get ready with me. I just need to set up and figure out how to do it so I can see what I'm doing, film at the same time, and not make it so super, super boring. But this I have really, really been liking an awful lot. An update on my um, Cape Diablo. I have, the other one is in the motorhome. I bought two of these watch bands. And they go for my Apple Watch, and they are a, a, a company that, this these are handmade basically, so they're not like this mass production, they're all a little bit different, but I love it. You can pick the stones you want, the design you want. I really love this. You do have to be careful when you wrap this on your Apple Watch because you need to wrap it the right way so that your Apple, your watch, if you're using it for an Apple Watch, stays connected to your skin so that it can read all your health benefits type of thing. But I am loving this, so wanted to give you an update on that. I probably am going to order myself another one. That's how much I like it because I thought they were just so pretty. And um, yeah, they're pricey, but you know, I love them. So what can I say? Um, yeah, so if you've been on the fence and you've seen those ads, Cape Diablo, I would definitely do it. I also got, and this is on my GoPro, so I'm not going to take it off my GoPro, but I also got this, I'm going to hold it this way, this funky looking adapter to put on my bike. So this screws in and then tightens up on the handlebars. So for those of you that watched my video, I was having a problem keeping my GoPro because I had it clipped to my front basket. I was having a problem keeping it steady. So I ended up buying this contraption, which I think will work really good and it'll keep my GoPro on my bike basket when I'm going to be riding because a lot of people like to watch the bike rides. Maybe not every single one of you, but a lot of people do. I also, I've been posting the longer bike um, type videos on my real estate channel on YouTube so that it doesn't really, you know, kind of mess up with um, the people that just want to watch for beauty. So anyways, after I had my eye issue this year, then I had ear surgery, and an ear surgery, and then I had my Mohs surgery. So during when my eyes were really bad, I tapered off of Retin-A, even though my eye doctor didn't think it had anything to do with it, but I tapered it off anyways because I wanted to experiment myself. I didn't see any difference. I didn't see any difference. In fact, my eyes got worse, all right? Uh, it's got nothing to do with Retin-A, but I'm just saying I went from having one eye for one whole year to having two eyes uh, being, being affected. <laughs> of course, we all have two eyes. That sounded really weird, but you know what I mean, being affected by the dry eye. So I tape it off on my Retin-A. The only thing that I was using was washing my skin. More often than not, I use the DHC oil or I have in the motorhome, I forgot, um, I have one that I picked up at the drugstore that I liked almost just as much. So I will take my makeup off and then I will use my Peaches cleansing system, which I really like. I love the exfoliating and I love their, their soap. I use that. And then I will do an essence of some sorts. And I have a couple of different essences that I was using. I stopped using anything that had like glycolic acid in it. I stopped using this. Um, I stopped doing a whole lot when I had my surgery. First of all, prior to my surgery, I, you know, I didn't want to do anything to make the spot worse. 
<laughs> if that if that makes sense. I was really paranoid about it. So at 68, I was really nervous about not using my Retin-A, but I haven't really used Retin-A and, um, in a while. So when I was at my follow-up, I asked the surgeon, I said, can I go back to using Retin-A? And he said, yes. He said, you know, you can do everything that you would normally have put on that area now. It's going to take, like right now, I'm still swollen. I've been swollen more so, you know, here in my cheek. You can see it. Um, I'm swollen. That's going to take a long time. I had a number of internal stitches. That's going to take a long time internally because I still feel a pull and stuff like that. But externally, I'm healed pretty well. Now, granted, it's still I still have a little bit of a split in my scar. The scar is still coming together. and um, But nothing's open, nothing can be irritated. So he said, go ahead and do your normal skin care. So I'm going to be going back. I'm going to start up with my Retin-A. I probably won't be putting it on top of my scar for a while. But, you know, putting it on my nose and my cheeks and, you know, up around my forehead and all that. Um, I'm going to start with three days a week. I'm going to do that. I have been using my Foreo, you know, for cleansing. And because I have to massage my scar area, I've been actually using my Foreo on my scar area to help massage it as well, very, very lightly. So I've been using my Foreo again and my Fabushi. I like my Fabushi. So I've been starting to use my Fabushi again. All of these things I tapered off, I dropped off with because of my my surgery. And um, But now we said, no, go back to your normal skin care, skin care routine. I'm going to continue to use the scar gel, obviously, on my, my scar. And I have to be super, super diligent about sun protection. That's going to be a big, big thing for me for quite a while is sun protection. But I'm super excited. So, yeah, I'm going to start up my normal routine. Um, I'll let you all know how it goes. But right now, that's, you know, that's all I've been doing. I am loving, I think I, in my previous video, I talked about the, the Ferrara um, products. And I, I've absolutely been loving the, the, the products, especially the concealer. The concealers are just awesome. So uh, I love that. I think my skin, other than my scar, I think my skin has been doing really well. So I'm super, super happy with that. And I'm hoping that next time I do a bike ride, <laughs> this contraption I bought holds up. On my head, because I know, I never, sometimes I never mention it. On my head is... Um, a wig that I haven't really worn in a while. And this used to be Jay's favorite, but I always feel that this is like kind of dressy, you know, when I wear this. But this is Raquel Welch's editor's pick, and um, and I really love this. This particular one was actually gifted to me from Marlene and Sheila. This is the hand-tied version, and uh, oh my gosh, I love it. Now, I'll wear this sometimes when I put my hair up if I'm going to someplace special, a special event. It's a lot of hair for me when you don't have as much hair. <laughs> so when I put this on, I'm like, oh, uh, room, <laughs> you know? But I love this look. I think this look is really awesome. So other than that, oh, yeah, someone said do a, a nail care video. I, I don't do anything to my nails. I have just been filing them with a glass file very, very gently. And I think my collagen, um, I you know, they're all different they're all different lengths. I should file them all equally. They're really bad right now. But I think the collagen that I take every morning and every night has really helped my nails. It's helped my hair, although not that much. Um, it's helped my skin. And I also think it's probably contributed to how quickly I was able to heal from my scarring, from the scar on my surgery. Because even when I went for the follow-up, they were like, wow, look at you. You know, and uh, when they were taking pictures, she goes, you want to see what you looked like when you were last in here? And I said, yeah, I got a picture of it. <laughs> she goes, it's unbelievable, the difference in you. So that made me feel really, really good. But I'm going to get back on my routine, get back on my anti-aging, <laughs> aging gracefully. That's what I'm going to be doing, aging gracefully. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.